Hi, good evening. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. Tonight, we're looking at um, a component tester from Banggood. Uh, not this one, because this one arrived in pieces. You can see there's a chunk out of the plastic there. Uh, uh, sorry, out of the LCD display. And it doesn't work. Half of the displays is out. Um, so that was a, like a non-runner. But I got in touch with Banggood, and within four days, this arrived exactly the same device as the one that's broken but thankfully this one arrived in one piece uh, let's just go through the pricing because it's a little bit quite interesting this is this on its own no case and generally not broken would be six pound plus about two pound delivery so it's going to cost you eight pound to get it to the uk now you pay two pound more you get a laser etched perspex case uh, and the tester so if it a tad over 10 pound you get it all delivered with the case so I'd pay the two pound extra and get the plastic case because although it's laser etched it's one of them Lego type put together cases really quite nice uh, it, it'll keep the tester nice and safe uh, no good in water but then I wouldn't expect it to get wet but it stops you know, you, you drop your knife on it or you're trying to short stuff out of the back. Uh, you haven't got to worry about that. The printed circuit board looks very well made. Um, the components uh, are soldered on very well in the sense of I haven't been able to spot any bad joints on there. Uh, so I'm quite happy with the actual quality of it. The transportation is another matter. Normally Bang would wrap it up in loads and loads and loads of plastic and bubble wrap and everything else, but this occasion it must have missed uh, the shipping department or the packing department anyhow. But let's have a little, little look at this. It's all put together. Um, all I've had to do, there's eight bolts, put it in the case, away you go. Nine volt battery, you supply your own. Uh, it claims to test almost everything. Uh, I got a... Um, a few components knocking around on here uh, on the bench in front of me I'm going to try axe or anything like that but it will test those so transistor put it on between pins 1 2 and 3 in this case you got a zip socket zero in insertion force socket easy to say zip close that down that locks the transistor in press the button now it's coming across to me as very very clear this is a lovely bright dot type display dot matrix type display not coming across so well on the camera I'm afraid but to my eyes in real life so to speak really really clear there goes PMP transistor forward gain forward voltages identified as are the legs collector base emitter so uh, very good let's just swap that round test it again tells you the battery voltage this doesn't work down to a very low voltage about eight volts and you can add to be thinking about changing the battery uh, but currently we're okay there you go let's put something else in capacitor the manufacturer suggests you short the legs together so there's no residual charge on the component pop that in pins one and three press go bring that back up for you takes a few seconds longer on a capacitor because it's got to charge it up it tells you the ESR as well which is handy uh, 484 microfarad it's a 470 on the can so for a, for a cap I'm happy with that that's close enough LED one thing this doesn't identify and I'm not sure how it would actually be able to it'll test it but it'll only come up as a diode but uh, you know it identifies it it tells you which is anode and cathode some of these are a little bit harder to identify from that point of view but the main reason I bought it if you're testing components like this or an actual just actually you just want to fit components like that I can still read the color coding on that so I can work out the value put it in here the machine will also work out the value for you let's see what it says 101 ohms so yeah 101 ohm resistor that's fine but when you come to these devils let me just straighten the leads eh? that's to my old eyes that's harder to see 
compared to something like that. So really, I bought it to test um, the, the small resistors. Yeah, I could put on the DVM, but uh, this is nice and flashy, so I'm gonna go with that. There you go, 469, so that's a 470 ohm resistor. Uh, keep testing all night. Um, what else have I got? Bigger capacitor. I haven't got too much here I can test, but the manufacturers claim it'll do triax, diax, resistors, capacitors, transistors, uh, SCRs, old, old cabandal really. There we go, another cap in there. Let's see if we can get it. You can see that. Again, it's just taking a few seconds to charge up. And that says 3278. Uh, 3278 microfarad on the can. Let's just turn it around. 3300 uh, 3, microfarad. So, again, very close. I told you to test the EC, uh, ESR. Uh, so, yeah, cut the long short story short. Nice little tester. Very, very clear display. I, was, uh, I can't impress upon you how much that display is super clear to the old eyes here. 9 volt battery. I say keep an eye on the battery voltage. When it starts getting a little bit lower, you start getting a few peculiar readings. But it does tell you what the battery voltage is, so you know you haven't got to worry about that too much. One thing with the uh, with the case here, you can't get to the printed circuit board uh, pads for if you wanted to actually hold a transistor on there. But that's no big thing to me. Hey, no worry. But yeah, that's the Geek Crete. LCR T4 component tester from Banggood, six pound on its own plus shipping, or ten pound including shipping. So I'd go for that if you're going to get one. There are others on the market with a nice coloured display. Uh, you get them in a, in a better presented box as well. I must admit, but they're three times the price. And for the amount of time I'm going to use this on the resistors, that's fine for me. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, and I'll keep you up to date on any new videos coming to the channel. Great, thank you.